We've got breaking news. LeBron is a Laker. LeBron James is a Los Angeles Laker for what ought to occupy the final act of his NBA story. Four-year, $154 million a max deal. That's that's what he can sign in L.A. Uh, likely an opt-out after three years that could put him back in free agency or negotiate a new deal. to watch the game back there in the locker room. How bad is this a look for the NBA that we're not going to have LeBron this year in June? This is really bad for the NBA. Forget June, Number April. one, like here, here, here's when we drill down on the details what we see, right? Like, number one, the story that LeBron always had a free pass to the finals in the East that wasn't going to happen in the West is true, but we did want to see how he fared against those Western Conference teams once he got to the playoffs, because we also know that LeBron in the last four or five years is a totally different player in the postseason than the regular season. Yeah. He elevates his game. We are not going to get to see that. And maybe we wouldn't have even had they made the playoffs because of he, he was hurt or whatever, okay, or maybe he's older. But we would like to, I would have liked to have seen that. It would have been good for basketball to see what LeBron could. Now, others would say, well, he can't even make the playoffs in the West. That tells you what you need to know, maybe. Maybe, but I would have liked to see how they did in the playoffs. That's one. But here's the bigger picture, and you pointed to it, Molly. What? Who's the biggest star in the NBA? Biggest star in right the Right now? Yes. No, I, that's, I still feel like it's LeBron. By far. Yeah. The biggest star? The big, yeah. He has been the star of the playoffs for eight straight years all the way to the finals. Yeah. He's the most, he's the biggest athlete in the world. Don't tell me some soccer player. LeBron James, at least in the Western Hemisphere, mm -hmm. that people care more about him than anyone else. LeBron, at least in North America, LeBron James is the star of the show. Imagine if Seinfeld it didn't, suddenly they didn't have Seinfeld on one season. Mm -hmm. It would be kind of not the same. Might okay. still be a good show, but not the same. Um, that's what the NBA playoffs are without LeBron James. They're missing the star of the show. It's okay if someone else could take the crown by force, but let's see it. We're not even going to get to see it. Of course, that's bad. For we talk about Kyrie, and we also, Kyrie, we also need to talk about LeBron and yeah. what is going on in Los Angeles. How do they fix what has become kind of a hot mess right now? Well, I, I, it seems like it's a hot mess now, but we also have to have perspective. Like, sometimes you can look at things, and things are going in a horrible direction, mm -hmm. right? And we want to overreact. Right, because everything <laughs> feels so massive. So, oh, they're struggling. They're not making the playoffs. They got Brian and da 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 da. Listen, they were in the fourth seed when everybody was healthy. Right. They're playing good basketball. 
it was a hot thing around here. Everybody was like, oh, my God, the Lakers are really shocking people. <laughs> oh, what they're doing is unbelievable. Then injury happens. Another injury happens. Another injury happens. Now they're the worst thing to walk the earth. Like, I'm trying to understand. Relax. <laughs> Relax. I think that people are surprised that they're not going to make the playoffs. They thought at least this team would make the playoffs. And I understand the, the injuries. Gone. I understand. Right? Like, in the critical part of the season, half the team's gone. Like, what are you supposed to do with that? You know what I mean? What are you supposed to do with that, man? And so everybody's just got to set, just, just settle down. Mm -hmm. Just settle down. Enjoy this time. Enjoy it. Because then when they win in championships, you can look back at this time because it makes championships much sweeter. Right? Um, but this is Los Angeles, though, man. We don't play. Right. Like, we miss the playoffs. It's doom or gloom, man. Like, you know, you go to the championship and lose in the finals. It's literally the worst summer ever. Right. And that's the way it should be. What does it feel like to hear Anthony Davis, Los Angeles Laker? cover because they don't know that person he's definitely somebody that you could be around all the time he's actually <laughs> 35 years old and has been on this earth long and when people think he has been that's where that's come from that's wisdom we both have the same passion we just show it in different ways he takes off like he's jumping off a trampoline off of one leg i mean it's the most ridiculous one leg takeoff i've seen it's crazy i got a screensaver for you his mid-range jumper is by far one of the best, you know, that we have, if not the best that we have in our league. Two dribble, pump fake, reverse spin, shot. Bryant spins, puts it up, puts it in. Yeah, I watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I study it. <laughs> I saw, yeah, I already told you what that is. Hey, boy, I saw. There's a mutual respect that we have for one another. It's that level of respect that enables us to perform at a, at a high level when we compete against each other. Automatically, it automatically makes you better. LeBron hanging on the ball with nine on the shot clock. He's way out of the left wing. Goes to the line, goes to the line, goes to the hole, left hand in your face. I'd be disrespecting LeBron if I didn't compete and go hard at him. Colby right corner, jab steps on James. James knocked it loose. Colby recovers. Three to shoot. Colby backs him down, spins. Buries it. A thing of beauty from Bryant. You're making each other better, and it's the respect factor that we have for each other. But at the, at the end of the day, we're all ultimate competitors. 
doing what you do, bro. I love you, bro. I love you too, boy. Well, this is not the type of news we wanted to bring you on Grammy Sunday, but NBA legend Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, and seven others have been killed in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. This was the 41-year-old's private helicopter. This was often his mode of transportation to and from the Staples Center as well when he was playing. He and his daughter Gianna, or Gigi as she went by, were reportedly on their way to Mamba Academy for a basketball practice. It crashed at about 9.47 a.m. Pacific time in a remote field on a hill just behind Courtney Kardashian's house. Good afternoon from New York. We're coming on the air with breaking news, very sad news to tell the sports world. The L.A. Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper reportedly went down just before 10 a.m. local time, according to fire, uh, the fire department out there in Calabasas, California. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand and remove your hats? The Lakers organization and the entire NBA family was devastated by the events Sunday morning in Calabasas. Lost in this unthinkable tragedy were husbands, wives, parents and children, teammates and coaches. As the entire world mourns, we want to remember and honor those nine individuals. On the court, Kobe Bryant was one of the greatest players of all time. The future Hall of Famer was an 18-time All-Star the 2008 NBA MVP, a two-time Olympic gold medalist and five-time NBA champion off the court. Kobe was more than a basketball player. He was a beloved husband, an author, philanthropist, an Oscar, Emmy, and Annie Award winner, and most importantly, a father of four beautiful daughters. Laker Nation, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome LeBron James. Uh, before I get started on uh, uh, the speech that I have, uh, I want to acknowledge all the lives that was lost Sunday morning. Alyssa Altabelli, John Altabelli, Carrie Altabelli, Peyton Chester, Sarah Chester, Christina Mauser, Ara Zabanya, Gianna Bryant, and Kobe Bryant. Now, I got something um, written down, you know, they asked me to kind of stay on course or whatever the case may be, but Laker Nation, man, I would be selling y'all short if I read off this shit, so I'm going to go straight from the heart. Uh, the, the first thing that come to mind, man, is all about family. And as I look around this arena, we're all grieving, we're all hurt, we're all heartbroken. But when we're going through things like this, the best thing you can do is lean on the shoulders of your family. And from Sunday morning all the way to this point, now I heard about Laker Nation before I got here last year about how much of a family it is. And that is absolutely what I've seen this whole week, not only from the players, not only from the coaching staff, not only from the organization, but from everybody. Everybody that's here, 
This is really, truly, truly a family. And I know Kobe and Gianna and Vanessa and everybody, thank you guys from the bottom of their heart, as Kobe said. Now, I know at some point we will have a memorial for Kobe. But I look at this, I look at this as a celebration tonight. This is, this is a celebration of the 20 years of the blood, the sweat, the tears, the broken down body, the getting up and sitting down, the everything, the countless hours, the determination to be as great as he could be. Tonight, we celebrate the kid that came here at 18 years of age, retired at 38, and became probably the best dad that we've seen over the past three years, man. Kobe is a brother to me, and from the time I was in high school, watching him afar, all the battles that we had throughout my career, the one thing that we always shared is that determination to just want to win. They just want to be great. I want to continue along with my teammates to continue his legacy, not only for this year, but as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love, because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out. But in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. It may not mean nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping at all I want this shit forever, mine, never mind, never mind I'm shutting shit down in the mall And selling that girl, she the one for me And I ain't even planning to call I want this shit forever, mine, never mind, never mind Last name ever First name greatest, like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, faded off the brown, Nino. She insists she got more class, we know. Swimming in the money, come and find me, Nemo. If I was at the club, you know I balled. Chemo, drop the Doors niggas, hate that shit sounded like an album. Who'd have thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an X like Malcolm. Everybody Jeez, got a deal, I did it without one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, the you would swear I had a headless. Everyone looks out at me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. Bitches, it may not mean nothing to y'all. Three of the Understand finals, James Drives finishes in his foul. So I don't plan on stopping at all. I LeBron James steps back, three pointer, that's good. Never mind. I shouldn't shit down in the mall. Beautiful pass, Rondo to James, counter and one. Gets inside, running away. Right. James Harden for the James this is a Straight up the volleyball.
against Man, Jones Jr. Missed a good look. James Brooks in there looking up to him. The ball movement. So the last possession by the Lakers. Not selling the extra pass to the ball. Keeping his team. James drives. James finishes. And the Lakers just keep pouring it on. There. You got to stick your body in front of LeBron James if you want to win. And what a way to close out this championship season. As you see, Davis and James, it's all coming out. You know, one of the, to me, one of the great pleasures of this job every year is watching they become little kids again when that title is realized, when it's finally over, and all the work, all the sweat, all the practices, all the travel, and in this case, all this time in the bubble ends up with what they all set out for as their number one and only goal. You know what each guy invested and LeBron is thinking I promised this guy this I told him that things would be different and to finish it off. They all should be extremely proud. Well, Lennox puts it up and in. Caruso will bring it up. LeBron James already celebrating. I'm sure they are back in Los Angeles again. That's why now it knocks down a three pointer. There's the exclamation point. And the Heat will just bring it up. And the Lakers will win game six. And now Cook can just dribble it out. And J.R. Smith already shirtless. <laughs> Final seconds here in this NBA season. The respect from those two. And that's it, it's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble, and banner number 17 will soon hang in the Raptors. presentation the naming of the finals MVP it's all ahead as the Lakers win the 2020 championship and I have a feeling that this finals MVP is gonna have a trophy named after him one day the finals MVP is LeBron James